Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Meeplus and this is Literally Graphic. And today I'm doing an initial thoughts video on the shonen manga series Spy X Family by Tetsuya Endo. As far as warning goes, I'm struggling a bit with this one. Questionable orphanage practices and a cow is temporarily paralyzed using pressure points. The female character is also demonized for being single and there are a handful of serial there are a handful of parents who have previously died. Uh, according to Wikipedia, Tetsuya Endo came from a single parent household, enjoys skiing and basketball, as well as performances by Bruce Lee and Meg Ryan. Previously, Endo has worked on the series Tista, about a villain killing sniper serial killer, and Gekka Bijin slash the Moon Sword. But circling back to Spy X Family, a comedy action spy story, the premise is that a male spy must quickly fabricate a family in order to infiltrate an elite school. Quote, Master Spy Twilight is the best at what he does when it comes to going undercover on dangerous missions in the name of a better world. What he doesn't know is that the wife he's chosen is an assassin and the child he's adopted is a telepath. Reading other reviews, this volume appears to be set in a fictionalized East-West Germany situation. While the art felt pretty typical, that doesn't stop it from being very top-notch and on point with a very keen eye to detail. Gender and sexuality are an interesting subtext. While none of the characters are necessarily labeled in the story as queer, the premise feels like it relates very well to how queer people have been forced to live through history. The single apparently cis female character is in danger precisely because she is not part of a heterosexual procreating unit, and this chosen family is up against an elite school that won't stop talking about quote, family values. And while the main characters are not necessarily blue collar icons, the high class nature of the elite school is repeatedly highlighted. Similarly, disability isn't really portrayed in any way with everyone being somewhere on the spectrum between able-bodied and super able-bodied. Whiteness is fairly central to the story, like most European set manga. A real sucker for a good comedy premise in 2020, for obvious reasons. I ended up reading this first volume 4 out of 5 stars. But I'll keep reading and resist white supremacy. And as always, Literally Graphic is created on land that should be given back to the traditional land holders, which in this case is, to my knowledge, the Mississaugas of the Credit First Nation, Anishinaabe people, the Haudenosaunee Confederacy, and the Huron-Wendat Nation. 